Am I the asshole for leaving my girlfriend's birthday party after an hour? My, 22 male, girlfriend, 23 female, and I have been dating officially for four months, but we had been non-exclusively dating for about a year prior to us making our relationship exclusive. Hmm, interesting. A year. A year is a long time, but you're I young, wonder, so. Okay, I wonder whose decision it was to yeah. not become exclusive for a year. I guess that might not be relevant. She had a birthday party last weekend, and it was disco themed. I hope everyone showed up. <laughs> I'm not a fan of disco. Mm. Sad. But because I love my girlfriend, I went. I showed up with a couple of my friends, and after about an hour, we were all getting tired of the music and decided we were going to go out to the bars, and I told my girlfriend I would come back to help her clean up. She asked me if I could stay and that it meant a lot to her, but I just wasn't feeling the music. I feel so sad reading yeah. these stories where people are like, it just means a lot to me, and the only thing I'm asking you for yeah. is the bare minimum. Right. I can't imagine. She asked me if I could stay and that it meant a lot to her, but I just wasn't feeling the music and wanted to go. I told her I wasn't having a lot of fun, but that I would be back to help clean up and take her home. I left with my friends and after 20 minutes, she ended up texting me and said, don't bother coming back and that she has help from her friends and her mother would take her home. Things have been really weird since then. And she told me that what I did was rude and inconsiderate of her feelings and that she wanted me there. I told her I at least showed up, even though that was not my type of setting. And she should be grateful that I came and I didn't need to be there the whole party. She started saying how she always does things that only spark my interest, which is true. But I reminded her that she isn't required to do that. And the conversation started to feel manipulative. Who do you think is being the manipulative one here? Sir, come on. I just feel like she should be more grateful of the things I do and not be stuck on the few things that I don't. I feel like at least me showing up was really nice and I even offered to come back and clean up but she said no. She started backtracking and saying that she would understand if I went home but is upset that I left to go do stuff with my friends and not that I just left. But why should I have to stay home while she is out having fun? Am I the asshole? This is such a problem and I could really go on a tangent about this and as it pertains to like society as a whole. Go. Because we're in this era unfortunately where people think doing the bare minimum is like doing the most. Mm -hmm. and him being like I showed up it's like yeah no shit it's your girlfriend's birthday you showing up is like that's not even a point you should be making in order to validate anything you're trying to say here like yeah you showed up because it's your girlfriend's birthday like what are you talking about that's literally bare minimum that's not even anything like I know guys are not into birthdays in the same way that girls are typically but if my boyfriend was having a birthday party at his house or wherever at a bar, it seemed like she needed to be taken home. So if there was a, they were in public or whatever, but I would be there early. Like you in, I just feel like most people yeah. in a healthy relationship would be spending the day with them prior mm-hmm. to the party, helping them get all the stuff for the party, whether you like the theme or not. Yeah. And then helping them set up being there the entire time, helping them break it down, and then going home with them. Yeah. It's one day. You can go out with your friends any other day. Yeah. Suck it up. This is absurd like, to me. People are not okay. Men then, are not okay. And then the girlfriend's like, I always do stuff that only piques your interest, and you rarely do it for me. And he's like, that's true. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's true. But it's like, no, no, no. End of sentence. <laughs> yeah. Like, reflect on that, Yeah, sir. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Like, why don't you want to spend time with your girlfriend? On her birthday. Yes, that's so weird. And also not liking disco is problematic, and you should look into that. (laughs) If I was dating someone for four months, I would say I just, like, didn't even (laughs) acknowledge that. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> respect disco and i can prove that i like disco because i have a disco ball sitting Heck over yeah. there <laughs> and i was gonna hang it here but then i was like that would be just like that's a lot it's the size of our heads yeah and it's like it's just like head disco ball head it wouldn't work right anyway um <laughs> what was i just saying um <laughs> <laughs> men are stupid this man needs to get kicked oh, to yeah. the curb <laughs> i was gonna say if i was dating a guy for four months and then he did this at my birthday party i would like to think i would break up with him because can we just be real be so for real like four months is not a long time no so if you break up with this man like you will move on so fast you're so young yeah like he is just immaterial whatever 
And then also, what were you doing for a year? Like, I think that if you are dating someone casually, non-exclusively, in my life at least, I have seen that it will usually take a few months, depending on how much you see them and how often you're talking, it will take max three to four months to know, and I'm really going to push it and say five, maybe, if Mm -hmm. you really are taking it slow and you don't see them that much and you don't talk that much outside of hanging out in person, it will take that amount of time to really know if you want to date someone yeah and know if you really like them enough to date them exclusively yeah so why did it take you guys a year like I almost feel like and this almost happened to me one time like I was casually hanging out with this guy and then it got to this weird point where I'm like okay so like are we gonna date or not Mm -hmm. but I just knew that neither of us wanted to date each other but we were almost like I I felt it like almost we were tricking ourselves or like convincing ourselves that we should date and then I was like wait no like we just yeah. don't this is not it's wait, fine no. <laughs> like yeah it's okay too we don't have to hate each other don't yeah. talk shit on each other we're just not gonna date and that's fine yeah and I felt myself almost being like oh yeah we should probably date and then I'm like no think about the facts right like if you have to wait a year to know like yeah I will date them it's it almost feels like you're trying to like them yeah like you're convincing yourself yes yeah. convincing yourself yourself and then after four months actually exclusively dating if they pulled this shit I just would really hope that I would not be caught up in the oh but I like them feeling yeah because you just don't deserve that you deserve someone that you're crazy about yeah like once you get to know who they truly are you should be crazy about them and they should be crazy about you too yeah agreed and And they should be going out of their way to hang out with you on your birthday on your birthday regardless of the theme a man you're dating like who cares if he didn't like disco like whatever it could have been any theme and he probably would have said the same thing yeah it's like, true the guy you're seeing on your birthday should like you said be there to help you be there for the party mingling with your friends your family yeah. helping you break it down i don't i yeah. don't like this it's also stupid that he's like i just wasn't having that much fun because i don't love disco so i told her i was gonna leave and come back later could you imagine going over your girlfriend's extended family's house for christmas and being like I just wasn't loving the Christmas music and I just wasn't having that much fun. So I'm going to leave, but I'll come back later. That's absolutely that is the equivalent. Yeah. Like that's so fucking rude. Just because you're not dying to go to a family party with your girlfriend doesn't mean you don't go. There are times where you're going to have to do things that you don't like in a relationship in order to maintain healthy family dynamics. Yes. And this is a this is one of those examples. Yeah. Move on, sister. You're a child. 22 years old. Just move on. 